Hey guys, so today I have my April favorites. These are products that I have been using and loving this month. And I also have one product that I did not like, so I will talk about that as well. I also wanted to mention before I start, I'm going to list some video requests that I've been getting a lot from you guys down below. And then let me know what you wanna see first and I will do that because I have like an ongoing list right now. And um, I'm going to film them eventually, it's just kind of getting the time to do it. So just let me know which ones you'd want to see first and I can hopefully do that. So Okay, I'm going to start with the um, product that I don't care for. It is the Bumble and Bumble Blondish Hair Powder and this is a dry shampoo. So it's a dry cleansing matte finish and it's for instant fullness. And I bought this, you know, like two years ago and I really liked it and I bought it again. I think last summer and I think it was just I liked it because I didn't really know I never had tried a dry, a dry shampoo that really worked until I tried the Batiste and that dry shampoo is amazing when you spray it in your hair you actually feel like you cleaned your hair and your hair feels light and fresh and and it works and I think I didn't want to try it because it looks kind of cheap like the packaging looks kind of cheap and I was like eh, it's not gonna work but this is $22 and I was like it must work it doesn't. So I have mine in the blondest shade so it like you get a little bit of tint in your roots which is good because you don't get like that powdery look but the thing that stinks about this is when you spray it in your hair and your roots it actually feels like there's just this nasty residue in your hair and your hair feels really heavy and just dirty and gross and whenever I find myself using this I have to put my hair up, which is why my hair is up right now because I used it and it, my hair just feels nasty and it just, you don't want to wear it down. So I'm going to, I'm going to finish it, but I will never buy this again just because it doesn't work. Okay. Moving on to good favorites. I have been trying out a new line of natural makeup and it's called Benicos and the two products that I have tried, I absolutely love. So the first one is a blush. It's the Benicos natural powder blush and I get these products from um, lovetruenatural.com if you're wondering. So this is just a beautiful like cool toned pinky purpley blush. It just looks, it's like perfect for the spring and summer. It's just so pretty. It's very creamy, super pigmented and I'm just really impressed by this. Um, it reminds me so much of the Tarte Amazonian clay blushes and it's just Beautiful. Look how pigmented that is. That is so pretty. Um, and it's in the shade Mallow Rose, if you were wondering. And then the other product from their line is this lipstick. I'm wearing it right now, and it's in the shade Peach, and it's just a really natural shade of, it's like a, it's a peach, peachy nude, and it's very moisturizing. That's like my favorite thing about it. It's super moisturizing, easy to wear, just a nice natural color and it gives your lips like a little bit of shine which I like so again a great product and I would definitely try more shades from um, this line. Next I have a mascara and it is the L'Oreal Power Volume Black Smoke 24 hour and I like this mascara because it is a natural bristle brush wand it's not plastic and it just is a very dry formula. I like dry formulas a lot because they're really easy to just build a lot of volume without having any clumps or anything. It reminds me a lot of the Revlon Grow Luscious in the brush and the formula. Just It's a very soft looking mascara. It makes your lashes look really nice, natural and soft, but it gives you a lot of volume as well. This one and the Revlon Grow Luscious are my two new favorites ever, but I do wanna try the Tarte one next. It's in the, it has like a bamboo case and I don't know what it's called, but just because it has better ingredients for you. So, but I love that L'Oreal volume. It's amazing. Okay, let's talk about primers. So I recently bought the Victoria's Secret Make It Last Prime and Set Makeup Spray. And a lot of you guys wanted to know if I've been liking it. And I do like this a lot. It does help my makeup last a long time. The only thing is I feel like it dries my skin out a little bit. Um, but it's cool because you can use it as a primer and a um, setting spray. So it's kind of like a dual product. But I like my Urban Decay one better. Um, this is the All Nighter, which I like. But the one I like more than this is the one, the moisturizing one. It used to be called Do Me, but now it's called Chill, Chill It or something. 
So yeah, I, I do like this better, just the feel that it gives your skin. But this one does help keep my makeup on for a long time. It was $14. And I somebody asked if there's alcohol in there and in here, and I, I don't think so. I looked at the ingredients down here. Um, no, there's no alcohol in here. So definitely give this a go if you have been wanting to try it. Next, I have a hair product. This is the Alterna Summer Hair RX Sun Recovery Spray, and I got this off of Hot Look. And they have Alterna on there all the time, um, which is good because I am in love with this product. It it smells so good. It smells like, it kind of smells like orange soda. I don't know, it smells really delicious. But this has just, it's made my hair so soft, I swear, because it's really the only thing, this and I might as well just talk about this too. This is the um, L'Occitane conditioner and it is the volumizing one. So this has been really nice in the shower. It is a very thin consistency so if you're used to like thick masks and stuff it'll be a change and that's why I didn't really like it at first but now I just love the way it makes my hair feel afterwards. Um, it's you know again very thin but it really moisturizes my hair and then when I get out of the shower it just feels very soft and gives me tons of volume. So if you saw my Instagram picture, I just let my hair air dry one day after using this and my hair was like so poofy and thick. So if you have thin hair, definitely check this out if you want a volumizing conditioner. Um, so that and this product are the only really two things I've changed in my routine this month and my hair has just felt so smooth and healthy. So I spray this in as a leave-in conditioner after I get out of the shower. I'm kind of like mad that it's so small and I like it so much because I wanted to save this for summer and just keep it in like my beach bag, uh, but I like it too much so I can't stop using it. It also says that it helps shine, shine moisture, manageability, and um, it also has the UVA and UVB protection in here. So it's good for, you know, like if you're out in the sun and stuff. This is amazing. Okay, the next couple product, the last four, I've mentioned before on my channel, but I just wanted to throw them out there again if you guys um, are new to my channel and haven't really heard me talk about them. The first is the Physician's Formula Concealer RX, and it is just an amazing full coverage concealer. Mine is in the shade Natural Light. It just is super, like, creamy and pigmented. I was getting some hormonal breakouts right here on my forehead, like in between my eyebrows, and um, this like conceals it like no other. It's amazing. Um, if you're looking for a full coverage concealer, totally suggest this. I use this not under my eyes for like spot treating and and it blends really nicely and it's very natural looking and it, I love it. The next product, I feel like I've talked about this a lot, but I've been using it all month so I couldn't not talk about it. It's the Cebu Sea Buckthorn Seed Oil. I usually get mine from beauty.com or Amazon. So it's just a pure oil. It comes in like this little drop dropper thing and I just kind of use this product for everything. The main thing that I use it for is uh, breakouts. So if ever I'm breaking out like these, it was like I got those like deep cystic acne going on. I think it's just like hormonal but um, they were bad and I literally just took some of this and just rubbed it all over my face and when I woke up in the morning it was so much better. So. I kind of swear by this product. I feel like I will always have this. I know people who have oily skin are really afraid of using oils because it, it sounds like crazy, right? But honestly, ever since I've used oil on my skin, it just, I love it. And I like, just love rubbing it on my skin. It feels so good. And this helps breakouts so much. It's crazy. It also is supposed to help for like eczema and um, what else? rosacea so if you have any of those skin issues then try it out for that too and then my last product is these yes to carrots chapsticks or they're called lip butters I have the melon flavor and I also have the um, the carrot one too these are just my all-time favorite chapsticks they are so hydrating and moisturizing they feel so good on your lips and they're cheap I always get them at like Rite Aid when they're on sale I love these and it really actually hydrates them too. So that is the end of my favorites. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next video. Bye.